Welcome back to another uh, Compose tutorial about Material Design 3 and we will be um, learning about uh, a Compose component called badges. Okay, so let's dive into the world of badges and that's um, and uh, so using this um, badges effectively we can create more engaging and user friendly experiences for showing notification counts or status information uh, on our navigation item and icons as you can see here in this example okay uh, like we have a bottom application bar with uh, uh, this uh, navigation icon having this this badges okay so we'll be learning how to create those badges and uh, we'll be learning about um, the specification guidelines accessibility principles we'll be trying to understand uh, implement and uh, try to um, to go around uh, understanding each and every co like dry diving deep into the world of badges okay so um, bef before that let's try to understand what's uh, what are badges okay so badges badges in compose are like a little notification bubbles that you can see here uh, which can have uh, like extra information like text here or like without any information okay uh, so this can uh, uh, it's like a neat, little notification bubbles that you can attach to the other composables to display on numerical values or a simple dot okay as you can see here and uh, you can uh, customize your badges with the different colors shapes and content to match your apps design okay so uh, so badges badges are commonly used for uh, drawing attention uh, they are like uh, highlighting the important information or changes uh, they are also used to show on read counts for example the number of on read messages in your chat application it also indicates a status like a dot patch should signal a new feature or a available update in your application okay so this is uh, kind of a this indicates the status okay so some of the features of badges uh, are like um, you can uh, uh, badges like a content badges can display up mm, like a short text up to four characters including the plus okay the, they can uh, display up to four maximum characters including the plus or a number um, so they can uh, they are like a tiny um, billboards okay for important information so um, there um, the um, badges are of different sizes like um, small for subtitle notification large for more prominent alerts and so you can choose the mm, the size that fits uh, to your application needs and requirements so uh, so how where can you place the badges you can place your badges typically um, on the top of the right corner of the like nest uh, typically nested like on the top right corner of the icons like as you can see here it's it is pretty much placed on the top right corner of the icons like a mm, like a little reminder that is attached to a uh, visual clue uh, queue okay so and you can also have a different um, mm, like a color like a default uh, like for consistency and accessibility like uh, like just try to choose the stick to the default color you can choose different colors uh, you can customize to different colors but try to choose stick to the default color mapping for consistent and uh, consistency and accessibility okay so red color is often is, uh, is like a signals the errors or urgency while blue might indicate new information so um, badges are a great way to provide the visual cues without cluttering your ui making your application more informative and user friendly so um, as you can see um, as i told you there are different types of badges uh, that you allows you to tailor the appearance and information conveyed by it to um, in your navigation bar so that ensures that they are both informative and visually appearing so as i told you we have uh, almost like a five different types of badges uh, so the small badge, uh, uh, large badge, uh, large uh, badge label, and large badge maximum character count label, and large badge maximum character count container. So small badges um, is a subtle dot that is often used to indicate a new or unread um, content without a specific number, as you can see here in the example. Then you have a; uh, they are great for drawing attention without over 
overwhelming the user. Whereas a large batch container, a circular container designed to hold a number or a sort label, as you can see here, mm, uh, uh, they provides a clear visual separation for the batch content. Okay, and, um, and there is a large batch large batch label. Uh, and this is the third type, and uh, the text or number displayed within the last batch container. And there is a text or number, as you can see here. There is a, mm, a number here that is 99 plus that confirms the specific count or information related to the batch. And then you have a large batch maximum character count label that typically uh, limits the character to four characters, including the plus and. Uh, uh, and this we include the plus to indicate that uh, uh, the actual count is actually higher than what can be displayed okay and then we have a large batch maximum count character count character uh, that is uh, that ca that can reach the maximum character count okay so there might have a slight different appearance like mm, a small size to accommodate the symbol also mm, like the plus symbol okay let's jump to the implementation so how do you implement these badges it's pretty simple uh, so this is my bottom navigation uh, bottom map bar and um, inside the bottom map bar I have uh, created a row of bottom app uh, bar items where I just create a simple badge box uh, mm, that's this box box will contain the badge actually and the icons inside as a content okay so let's go to jump to the badge box will contain a badge and this is uh, like um, this badge box uh, represents represents the dynamic information such as a number of pending request you know navigation bar a badge represents a dynamic information such as number of pending requests in the navigation bar um, badge can be an icon as you can see here the extra information is um, is being explained here so inside the badge box we uh, create the badge okay so this is a badge as you can see here it will con just contains a simple uh, modifier container color container content color and then the final content that can be anything like a text or uh, yeah it's usually contains the text as you can see here and you can still customize the content color but um, um, like always try to follow for the consistency and, and accessibility try to uh, use the default color mapping okay uh, but you can customize you also have the mm, possibility of customizing the the colors and that's it guys it's pretty simple uh, for implementing the bats uh, this is the bats with the maximum count reach and this is a bats a simple bats with no content for the small bat like no content okay and uh, that's it for the implementation section and you can see it's pretty responsive with uh, whenever I like change my orientation it's just the bottom uh, bar is pretty much adapting to the screen size Okay, so let's follow the best practices uh, while implementing badges. Okay, so use uh, small badges to indicate a status change or new notification. Use large badges to indicate a quantified status change relative to destination. Change the position of the badge for right to left uh, language. Okay, badges have a fixed position, so don't change the position of the badge mm, arbitrarily or place the badge over the icon. And use a default badge color try to avoid using custom customized color mapping for the batch container and label uh, text because it might not meet the accessibility requirements so you can truncate the batch label as needed don't let the batch get cut off or collide with another element you know don't let it collide with another element 
um, use a large batch uh, to show count information when a uh, visual collisions is not an issue and uh, be cautions to use a small batch when spits are tightly constrained uh, such as top up bars small badges will not run into the edge of the screen uh, place the badges at the uh, end edge to avoid visual collisions always use the large badge when it might overlap with a trailing uh, element okay so finally let's um, talk also about the um, guidelines some accessibility guidelines that you need to um, follow uh, to make the, your applications uh, accessible to everyone okay uh, regardless of the abilities of how they can interact with their application so use the clear semantics uh, use content description for icons with the badge to convey the meaning of the badge example home three new notifications so the badge has a label include the content description and uh, some meaningful content like use concise informatic labels uh, within the badges example five instead of five okay so just don't uh, try to use 99 as a number but uh, like uh, as a text but use a number here as you can see here this is 99 plus okay 99 is a number not 99 as a text you know try to use it um, uh, so use the meaningful content uh, for counts exiting the maximum display uh, limit use the plus as you can see here plus if they exceed the limit uh, to indicate the overflow and for color and contrast uh, uh, use the color st strategically to convey meaningful uh, informations okay so uh, ensure there is a sufficient color contrast between the badge and the background for users with the low vision okay and then if badges are associated with interactive elements ensure they are included in the keyboard navigation flow and then for uh, screen reader compatibility text with the screen readers to uh, test with your screen reader like talk black to verify that badges uh, information is announced clearly and accurately and if badges uh, uh, values changes dynamically provide clear announcement or visual clue cues to information uh, to inform your user about these changes state changes and that's it guys so it's all about the uh, badges and catch you up in the next lecture